Okay, so part two of this lesson, we're going to study another adat, another tool that is used to, to um, make the fi'al mudari majzum. Just like lam, but there's a little difference, a slight difference. So it's called lamma, lamma, and lamma is defined as harfu nafi wal jazmin wa qalb. It's a harf of nafi, of negation, as we've seen, just like lam. Wajazm, it makes the fi'al mudari majzum, just like lam. Waqalb, and it also changes the meaning from mudari to madi, right? From present tense to past tense. However, the nafi, the negation here is, you gotta pay attention to this now, the negation is negating al hadir it's negating the present time. The present time. As we speak, it's negating the verb. Did not, whatever the verb is, right? Did not do such and such. مَعَ تَوَقْعُ إِثْبَاتِ الْفِعْلِ قَرِيبًا With, along with negating the verb now, it is expected, right, that the action is going to take place soon. The action is going to take place soon. So, we throw in the word yet. We haven't done such and such yet. Okay? Now let's look at this. An example. لَمَّا أَشْرَبْ الْقَهْوَةِ Lamma ashrab al qahwa. I haven't drunk the coffee. I haven't drunk the coffee. Now, drunk or drank, uh, it's not English class, but um, there are some that say you should say drank. Allah alam. If you're, a, if you're an English teacher, you may correct it, but this is not English class. Alright. Lamma ashrab al qahwa. I haven't drunk the coffee yet. Keyword yet. I haven't drunk it up to this moment. I haven't drunk the coffee yet, but I'm going to drink it soon. So that's why we throw in the word yet. Lama ashrab al qahwa. Another example. ذهب أبي إلى مكة ولما يرجع. My father went to Mecca. ولما يرجع. And he hasn't returned yet. He hasn't returned yet. لما يرجع. I'm negating it. Up to now he hasn't returned. لم يرجع. But will he return later on? Yes, it's expected. لما يرجع لما يرجع he hasn't returned yet التجار لما يفتحوا دكاكينهم the merchants <coughs> لما يفتحوا دكاكينهم haven't opened their shops yet or have not yet opened their shops لما يفتحوا are they going to open it? soon probably within a couple of minutes it's going to be open okay next <coughs> the verb so this is important. The verb, right? The, the, word, the verb that becomes majzum may be erased if it's understood. Like in a question, akharajat tulab, did the students exit? Did they exit? So you can say, lamma yakhruju, they haven't exited yet. Or lamma, not yet. Lamma, not yet. And this is a perfectly fine, a complete sentence. Because we understand that this is referring to the verb kharaja uh, yakhruju. Lamma. In terms of the conjugation, it's exactly like lam. Okay, lamma adhab, lamma tadhab, lamma tadhabi, lamma yadhab, lamma tadhab, lamma tadhaba. This is the muthanna. Lamma. So the, remember, the, this muthanna is used for both male and female. Antuma lamma tadhaba. Huma lamma yadhaba, and huma lamma lamma tadhaba. لما نذهب لما تذهبوا لما تذهبنا لما يذهبوا لما يذهبنا. Now let's look at some of the uh, the verses of of the um, of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala in the Quran. Let's go to them إن شاء الله تعالى. Hopefully we can benefit from it. Um, first verse is in Surah Sad, uh, verse number eight. Allah says, أُنزِلَ عَلَيْهِ ذِكْر Ah, there's a question. Aunzila alayhi dhikr. Now this verb we haven't really learned this type of, of verb as yet, right? Uh, we'll, it will come in the next book, inshallah. Soon we'll come to this. Aunzila alayhi dhikr. Has the revelation been sent down to him? The dhikr or the reminder? Has it been sent down? To, has it been sent down to him? Min baynina from among us, from among us. Alayhi aunzila alayhi dhikr min baynina. Bal hum fi shakim min dhikri. But no. They are in doubt of my reminder. They are in doubt of my reminder. Allah is saying that they are in doubt of my reminder, the Quran. بَلْ لَمَّا يَذُوقُ عَذَابٍ 
بَلَّمَّا يَذُوكُ عَذَابٌ Okay? Nay, they have not tasted my punishment yet. They have not tasted my punishment yet. May Allah protect us all from the adab of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So adabi is actually adabi wadaya. Um, but we find in the Quran it uses this, um, this style of, um, of, uh, of uh, and it's a style also followed in, in Arabic poetry where we erase the, uh, the ya at the end of it and just put a kasra, adab. So it will be adabi, but we recite it as adab. Next example is in Surah Al Jum'ah, verse number 3. Allah says, so to understand this verse, Allah is saying that He has sent the Messenger um, to, the, um, to the early Muslims basically. Um, and <clears throat> obviously they will be the Sahaba and, uh, and that early generation, right? So then He says, وَآخَرِينَ مِنْهُمْ لَمَّا يَلْحَقُوا بِهِمْ And oh, meaning that the Prophet was also sent to آخَرِينَ مِنْهُمْ right? Others from among them. Those are the generations to come who were not around the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Bihim. They haven't met them. They haven't met that first generation. Right? And inshallah, hopefully, we could, we could fall into that category. If Allah can have mercy upon us, we could be among that category where Allah is describing uh, the generations to come who would believe in the Prophet Sallallahu and follow the, the Islam of the early Muslims, the Sahaba Radil Anhum. وَآخَرِينَ مِنْهُمْ لَمَّا يَلْحَقُوا بِهِمْ وَهُوَ الْعَزِيزُ الْحَكِيمُ So notice لَمَّا يَلْحَقُوا Right? So لَحِقَ يَلْحَقُوا means to be connected to something, to be attached, to be joined with, with something. So we're, we haven't been joined with them as yet. Right? So we will join them soon inshaAllah ta'ala. Right? لَمَّا يَلْحَقُوا بِهِمْ وَآخَرِينَ مِنْهُمْ لَمَّا يَلْحَقُوا بِهِمْ they haven't been joined with them yet. Wahum wahu al azizul hakim and Allah is al aziz, the Almighty, al hakim, the All Wise. Another example is in Surah Al Imran. Allah says, "Am hasib tu man tadkhulul jannah? Do you think that you will enter into jannah? Do you all think that you will enter into jannah? Walamma yaalam illahu aladina jahadu minkum. Now, literally, I'm going to give a little translation and then correct it, okay? And Allah has not yet known. Right? Allah, Allah did not yet know those who jahadu minkum, those who strove in Allah's cause, those who strove in Allah's cause, right? Meaning those who did jihad, jihad uh, by struggling in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So notice, walamma ya'lam, walamma ya'lam literally means, and he, has, he doesn't know yet. He has not yet known that Allah has not yet known. Now it's very important that we understand, and I will actually take the time to explain this. Allah has complete knowledge of the past, the present, the future. There's not a single thing that, that exists except that Allah knows it. And there's not a single thing that would have existed or could have existed except that Allah knows everything about it. So it is not saying that Allah doesn't know. Allah has complete knowledge. But Allah is negating the, the, uh, what is called al-ma'loom. The action has not been done yet. Meaning, these people have not yet strove in Allah's cause from among you, right? They have not strove. So Allah is saying that, do you think you're going to go into Jannah and you haven't basically done the deeds of those before you? You haven't struggled in the cause of Allah, meaning that Allah wants that we have to make some type of effort, some type of struggle, and then we will go into Jannah, inshallah. Right? وَلَمَّا يَعْلَمِ اللَّهِ but the literal translation, you have to understand it, you know, to understand the grammar and so on. وَلَمَّا يَعْلَمِ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ جَاهُدُوا مِنْكُمْ So this is normally يَعْلَمْ with a sukoon. Kesra comes here for vocalic harmony. Next verse in Surah Al-Hujurat, verse number 14. قَالَتِ الْعَرَابُ آمَنَّا قُلْ لَمْ تُؤْمِنُوا وَلَكِنْ قُولُوا أَسْلَمْنَا وَلَمَّا يَدْخُلِ الْإِيمَانُ فِي قُلُوبِنَا So Allah says that, the Bedouins say, we have believed. Meaning, we have complete Iman. We are complete believers. Amanna. Qul, Allah says, say to them, Lam tu'minu. Lam tu'minu. You haven't believed. Lam tu'minu. You have not believed. So, lam, we see an example of lam here. This is the previous um, part one. Lam, this is majzum. Lam tu'minu. Walakin, qulu asamna. But instead, say, Say we have accepted Islam. 
Okay? Because Islam is a, is, Islam is a, is a lower level than, than Iman. Islam is where you work on all the outward actions, the Salah and Zakat and so on. But you're building yourself up, you're building your Iman up. Then comes a level of Iman, where you have true Iman, and the deeds are still there, but your Iman is, is, is complete, or is reaching to a state of completion. Right? So, Allah says, to tell them, you should say that we have not believed. Right? So tell them that they have not believed, but instead say that, they should say that we have accepted Islam. The Bedouins should say we have accepted Islam. وَلَمَّا يَدْخُلِ الْإِيمَانُ فِي قُلُوبِنَا And Iman has not yet entered into our hearts. Meaning, Iman has not yet fully entered into our hearts. وَلَمَّا يَدْخُلِ الْإِيمَانُ فِي قُلُوبِنَا So here it is. لَمَّا يَدْخُلْ The Kesra is there for vocalic harmony. الْإِيمَانُ فِي قُلُوبِنَا Okay. Hopefully those verses, inshallah, helped us. Uh, and that will uh, complete part two. بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى